Hey guys, so the latest tag video is going around on YouTube and I was tagged by Ali over on One More Southern Bell to do the latest this and that tag about reading books. Right, so let's get started. The first one is audio or book in hand. Now I quite like audio books and reading books in hand, although since I've got Kindle now, I tend to read most of my books on my Kindle as it's easier, but I do like listening to audio books when I'm driving or if it's quite late at night, it's quite relaxing to sit down and listen to someone else read to you. I particularly like listening to the audio books of Harry Potter read by Stephen Fry. But if I had to pick one or the other, I'd definitely pick Book in Hand because there's nothing better than turning the page, eagerly wanting to know what happens next. Number two, soft cover or hard cover. Now the books in my bookshelf vary. I have some hard cover and some soft cover. But I do find that when I have a hard cover, it lasts a lot longer because the soft cover gets creased and destroyed much quicker than the hardback does. Number three, fiction or non-fiction? I'd probably say fiction because most of the writing I do is fiction. So when it comes to reading books, I like to read fiction books because then I can look at the author's individual writing style and see what works well and see what doesn't work as well and possibly incorporate that into my own writing. Fantasy world or real life issues? I like books that have both really. I quite like books that take you away from your own life and you can get lost in theirs but I also like books that tackle the big issues and see how they deal with them. But as I can only pick one, I'll pick fantasy because I quite enjoy getting lost in the other person's worlds and seeing where they take it and the fact that that's come from their imagination. Next one, Harry Potter or Twilight. Now I've read the Twilight books just to say that I've read them, but Harry Potter I've read I don't know how many times. So I've got to say Harry Potter. The Twilight books were very badly written in comparison to the Harry Potter books. And Stephanie Meyer did a poor job of representing both Edward and Bella. So there's no contest really. Harry Potter wins hands down every time. Next one, Kindle, iPad or other. Kindle, borrow or buy. Now when I was younger, I used to borrow a lot of books from my friends. But I was a very bad borrower. I would borrow a book and then I would take forever to read it and then lose it or misplace it and then end up keeping it forever because I've forgotten about it or the other person's just bought a new copy. This incident happened in year seven when I borrowed a manga book, which is really good, called Fushuki Yugi from a friend in year 11 I think and I borrowed it, had it for ages, then lost it and when I did eventually find it she'd already bought a new copy and said I could keep it. Ever since then I've always bought books because then I know they're mine and I'm not under a time limit to read it. Bookstore or online? I have to say bookstore for this one because I like to be able to peruse the shelves and take them off the shelves and have a flip through before I buy a book, which you can't really do online. Tell me one time or total trilogy. Total trilogy. House of Night, Harry Potter. You get the gist. Monster Read or Short and Sweet. Now I find that a book doesn't have to be extremely long to be enjoyable. For example, Of Mice and Men. I really enjoyed reading that when I did it at GCSE. But I also like big books because you get more plot in them. So I'm stuck with this one because I like both. They both have their merits in that some are short and to the point to an extent. And others have a lot more description in them. But if I had to pick one, I'd say Monster Book Read because of the fact that there's more plotline in it and there's more to take away from the story 
and I can use some ideas and change them and manipulate them and use them in my own writing. Starry Eyed Romance or Full On Action is a tricky one but I would say Starry Eyed Romance because I write more romance than I do action packed. So I like to read familiar ground to what I write. Curl up in your snuggie or bathe out in sun. Now I do a lot of my reading when I'm in bed because I find it a nice getaway. After a long day, it's nice to just sit in bed and read another world, so to speak. So I would say curl up in bed and read. Hot chocolate or latte. I have to admit, in my whole 19 years of existing, I've never once had a latte. So I'll have to say hot chocolate. And last but not least, read the review or decide for yourself. Now with many of the books that I read, I tend to like to see what other people think of it first. And I read several reviews. Even though I know that might colour my judgement slightly, I still like to hear what other people think of it. Although even if they do have bad reviews, I will still read it and see what I think of it. So it's a mixture of both, I think. If there's no reviews, of course, I'm just going to jump in and read it. But if there's a few reviews, I will sit down and read the reviews and see what other people think of it that's it for this tag video I hope you enjoyed it and I am going to tag Charlie Reads and all the usual links will be down below including a link to the new collab channel that I'm in practice makes pros and a new video has just been uploaded today so go and check that out see you later guys bye